Hello, this is Mrs. Spellman. Welcome to GCSE Computer Science. Let's get started. So we're looking at memory and storage, which is a red topic. And within that, we're looking at numbers, data storage numbers. It's a very large topic. So what I've done is I've split it down into a number of videos. So you're just looking at the first bullet point now to see where your knowledge gaps are. And once you've done that, if you fill out this slip in your green book. So deanery, what is deanery? Well, deanery is just a number system with 10 digits. It's the number system that you are used to. It's, it's decimal. So it's got the digits zero all the way up to nine. And how would we explain deanery? Well, let's take the number 183. The 1 means 1 a hundred, the 8 is 8 tens, and the 3 is 3 ones. So we add those all together and that gives us 183. So we're going to look at the same thing for binary. So our column headings in binary start with 1, then 2, so they're doubling, 4, 8. And we will only have 1s and zeros. Because binary, we know, has only got two digits, 0 and 1. So this number then, 1100, zero, zero, would mean 18, one, 14, one, no 2, and no 1. So that means we're adding 8 plus 4, which is giving us 12. So what I'm doing now is I'm showing you an online converter for binary, and we're going to put the deanery or the decimal 12 in here and see if that gives us the same binary number, 1100. Zero, zero. So that's a way of checking that an exercise we have done is correct. You don't need to worry about what's showing in the hexadecimal place at the moment. That is something we will move on to in a few videos time. But as you can see, now I'm putting in a binary number and I'm finding out the deanery equivalent, which is 171. And just showing you, we can put some more numbers in, maybe 200 to find out the binary equivalent. And now I'm going to put a smaller number, 35, and you'll see that has a smaller binary number. It's not quite 8 bits. Do you think you're ready now to convert a binary number to deanery? Pause the video and have a go. Okay. I'm just about to show the answer. I hope you didn't use a calculator. So here are our column headings. So we've started with one. It's, it's important to start on this side. And then as we go along, we are doubling the number. And under here, it's just showing you because binary is base two. So this is just two to the power of zero, two to the power of one. So this power of, that sign is something we use in computer science and you can see it in the exam, so I'm getting you used to that. Two to the power of two and so on. Now it's unusual here to see this gap and especially in computer science. This is a byte, it's eight bits, but we've only got six bits there. So what we will do, the ones that we didn't need, so we don't need these, but we'll actually put some zeros in there anyway, and that's called lead, they're called leading zeros. Okay, and I'm sure you got this answer. We're adding the values where there is a one, adding them all together and getting 53. Okay, let's try one more. So if you pause the video and have a go at this one. I'm just about to show you the answer. So we've got our column headings and we've had to add all the values together, hopefully without a calculator, and that gave us 255. Now that's the biggest number, deanery number, that you can have in a byte. And I just want to mention now that at GCSE, you won't be asked to convert fractions and you won't be asked to convert negative numbers. We do all that in sixth form. So you will just be asked for integers, and positive, num or positive integers. So deanery to binary, do you think you could have a go at converting deanery to binary? So 36, what would that look like in binary? 
Okay, so that's quite an easy one. I think you probably spotted that you could have 32 and 4, and that would make 36. However, it's not always that easy, so I'm going to show you a method, and there is a different method on bite size that you can have a look at if you don't like this one. But this is the method I'm showing you. So we'll take 36 and we'll work our way along from the most significant bit, which is this one, 128. Now, could we use that in our answer? And no, we couldn't. 128 is just too big. Could we use 64? No, that's bigger than 36. What about 32? Well, we could use that. So if we use 32, what we're going to need to do is put a 1 here. And then because we're using 32 and we put our 1 here, we need to take account of that and subtract it from our 36. So I'll do, I'll do that. So we've got our 1 there and 36 minus 32 is 4. So now we just need to look along and continue, but this time using the 4. Could I use 16? No. Could I use 8? No. Could I use four? Absolutely. Actually, it's perfect. So, you know, looking along for the four, we found it here. And we still subtracted. Following our method, we did four minus four, and we got zero. And that means we're finished. Okay, let's try one more. Could you convert the deanery value 97 to binary? Okay, so let's look at how we could do that. So... 97, 128 is no good to us, but 64 is actually because that's smaller. So let's put a 1 there, and we're going to say then we've taken, we've put a 1 there, so we have to subtract 64 from 97, which gives us 33. Now, actually, 33 is very easy to see because the next bit we come to is 32, and 32 from 33 is just 1, so we can fill in the 1 there. So there we have our 97. So what have we learned? We've learned that deanery is just another word for decimal. We've learned that when we're putting in our column headings for binary, we start at the right and double our, we put in a one and double our number along. And to convert a binary number to deanery, we just add up the place values that contain a one. And to convert a deanery number to binary, we start at the most significant bit and we subtract this number, if possible, from the running total. And when this is possible, we put a one in the place, otherwise we place a zero and continue doing this until we get to zero. Right, so that's it for this video. Do take stock of where you feel you are now and fill in this ticket in your green book. So I hope you have made progress in this topic.